and a warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. It's a program where we enjoy creativity at its best, showcased within the country. Let's check out what we have for you today. Finally, God has answered my prayers. This satirical comedy has been performed in the nation's capital, Abuja. Then we return to Lagos to enjoy Black, a solo show by a multi-talented artist. That and more when we return in a moment. Do stay with us. I try to paint a positive picture about women because there are many women who are very positive in their thinking, who are very independent and very industrious. Black is a solo exhibition by self-thought multi-talented artist Sylvester Aguda in Lagos. This solo exhibition by divinely inspired artist Sylvester Aguda is to give viewers an insight into the African history and culture. For this exhibition, we are actually celebrating Africa. We are celebrating the beauty of our culture, our people, the black race, and our intelligent um, tribes. You know, we're talking about kingdoms that have been existing for years with very different and interesting tradition. So those are the things that you see here today. We're not just focusing on just one country. We're looking at Africa as a whole and the gifts that God has placed on this continent. We're looking at, about, we're looking at our tribes, we're looking at the kind of clothing we wear, we're looking at the kind of traditional dances, and all these are depicted in these artworks that you see around us. They're very colorful, they're vibrant. Promoting the continent and projecting its people to see black as beautiful, rich and vibrant, and not the negativity associated with the name or phrase. This exhibition by Sylvester Goddard Black is just a celebration of Akebulan. We're celebrating in Africa for, um, for what she is. In this exhibition here, we have excerpts of um, works that depict the different thing that contribute to the greatness that Africa is. Um, our reference for God, our green land, um, Africa's um, land is very blessed. Both um, good soil where we can grow food, we have natural resources, we have people who are talented, we have um, a lot of gifts here and the, the whole world won't be able to benefit from Africa, so that's what we are celebrating in this exhibition. So this artist has revealed this appeal in the various works of art exhibited in this hall in Lagos, as he shows it in beautiful and colorful festivals, apparels, accessories, food and lifestyle in general.
when you say black, all that comes to the mind is just black. But beyond that, there's rich color, richness in black. They say black is beautiful. So we have in this exhibition works that create a fusion, works that talk about unity, works that talk about togetherness. You know, the richness of Africa, that is what you see in this exhibition today. There is no way you come into this space and you feel sad, you feel alive because we are celebrating ourselves. And I've been able to use different mediums. You know, I started with paper, to fabric, to strings, to off cuts. Now I've fused everything into this piece of works that you see here. And, you know, for me, I've, I'm so grateful. Like I always tell people, I'm the God taught artist. I thank God for the inspiration and the kind of ideas that I've been able to put into this work. According to Sylvester Aguda, the black collection of images explore slices of the mother of mankind from whom the world feeds. For me, it's uh, evolving every time. Uh, my recent works are actually made from wood, wood of cuts, and then um, fabric. You know, I've also played around with some metal strings. If you look around, you see the sacks that I made from just metal string alone. I didn't know it was going to come out that way. So that what that tells me is that I'm going to be doing more of that. I've done faces too for metal strings. I've done that in the past, but I feel I'm getting better by the day. And like they say, practice makes perfect. So in this works today, and what I'm showing, I'm expecting my video viewers and audience to see something different, something not common, something beautifully unusual, you know. You see raffia being put to use in my works you see acrylic used in a more different way. Instead of having it on canvas, you are now having it on wood, you know. And would I call myself a makeup artist? I don't know, but I've got some beautiful woman faces. I've even focused on a little bit of caricature. You know, there's so much tension everywhere, so much pressure. So I've been able to use these caricature figures to create some laughter, to create some excitement, to make people feel happy, you know, when they come into the space. created a lot of new pieces and embraced some fresh techniques to give the audience something different from what they are used to. I have two that I like here. Um, this one, and like I said, this is best appreciated from afar. It's like coming out of some sci-fi, orbit, space jump kind of thing. And then you're coming out of the middle and all the debris are, I mean, it's beautiful. It's almost like you're taking the cosmos in a painting. That's this one. Then there's another one, the one that shows me that out of the depths of black, that's where we get gold. And there's nothing more to be said about black. Black is beautiful. Black produces beautiful things. I think enough said. 
I just want people to, you know, keep their hope alive, um, that it is not, um, that, you know, troubles can come for a little time, but, you know, there's, uh, the victory will, it was, will, will come and keep celebrating who you are. Don't let anybody put you down. You are great. You are a force to reckon with. You are beautiful. You are excellent. And that is what we are celebrating. Africa. We're celebrating black, this exhibition. Africa. Akebulam. That's the mother of mankind. So you are royalty. Let no one take that from you. Twenty twenty three will be a great year. Um, there is nothing that God cannot do. My inspirations come from God, and I know I'm going to do something different. With what you've seen here, I don't think you've seen anything yet. The kind of ideas that I have, sometimes <laughs> when I close my eyes, ideas just keep coming. So um, I know 2023, I'm going to impress my audience. I'm going to impress my collectors. Just keep collecting my works. You know, you will see the progression and every piece whether new or old or upcoming are unique in its own ways so um 2023 just watch us for sylvester Aguda. besides celebrating africa the pieces are inspired by the artist's experiences from childhood till date one he hopes resonate with the art community <laughs> Lovely works of art there displayed by Sylvester. We keep seeing him churning out fresh works every time. Now let's take a moment. Art House returns with more. Do stay with us. Our wordsmith for this week is titled Life in Centuries by Elo Daniel Adeyemi. I wander in my little garden of thoughts, flooded in my thinking Titanic. I got lost, lost in nostalgia. Then I heard a voice. It pierced through my heart to my pounding arteries. It echoed like a whisper in a graveyard. The voice sounds familiar and nostalgic. It's the voice of my forefathers. Tore in my mind centuries before my existence, showing me how great and mighty they lived. Their melodious evening tide games under the tree, accompanied by a band of palm wine jesters. They told me stories of their forest adventures, how skilled they were to kill the king of the jungle, and how they made bed of leathers from its sacred skin. They told me of their plantation, how huge it was, self-sufficient, chasing hunger miles away from grip. They told me moonlight stories in cozy nightfalls, stories of myth and great men before them. I wonder as I flip through their memories in ever little signs they left behind, thinking of centuries after I exist, what shall I tell my great generation unborn? How shall I tell my story? Should I put it in signs and symbols, like my forefathers before me? Or I should write it in an epistle? Should I put it in simple photograph for them to flip through? However the means, I must tell my story. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. We're getting loads of exciting works of art at this year, 2023. Let's begin with this one by Adeyemi Julius called Strong Pillar. It's done with oil on canvas. Then Desmond Akindoju has this acrylic on canvas work as well called My Amigo. Precious OKK has Paradox, done with pen on paper. Mm -hmm. 
then Inivora Pios has mixed emotions, the second in the series, a pen and acrylic on cartridge paper work. The Breath of Life is a watercolor on board work done by Fax John. Then Abu Muktaka has the cry of a woman done with acrylic on canvas. Ezekiel Benga has this charcoal pencil on paper work called Reward. Then Bravery is a work done by Holly's Art with charcoal pencil on paper. Then we wrap things up with this work done by Priscilla Akiremi called Woman of Strength is rendered with textile ink on primed canvas. Includes the works of artists sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. Our next feature is a performance which took place in Abuja. It's titled Tony Wants to Marry. It's performed at the Export House Theatre and directed by Agozie Ugu. It's high time you hold your soul, Tony, on its own becoming behavior. Tony, not your son, too. Are you not the one always trying to protect him anytime I try to uh, scold him? Is he no more your only child? But you do not enter his room. Enter his room for what I do. If you enter to his room, you will see pornographic pictures and boring books. I will stop the system from entering his room so that he doesn't reflect out with his useless lifestyle. Tony Wants to Marry is a satirical comedy which revolves around the lead character, Tony, who has been given a deadline by his father to tie the knot or lose the perks he has been enjoying from a life of affluence. You are pretty more than you can chew. Tony, I give you three months. Three months to bring the woman you want to marry. Yes. Idiot. And if you refuse to do so, you lose your inheritance. Uh -huh. All of it. Okay, what? Stupid boy. Mommy, three months, three months. You think about it now, three months, not too short. Tony, Tony, have you seen what you have lost? You washed my hand. Your father is mad this time. A move which was to try to make Tony more responsible as his upbringing was dented by a mother who spoiled him rotten. Tony, I give you three months. Three months to worry for yourself. says, Tony wants to marry. Then all the beautiful girls can come for personal interview. <laughs> The performance is good for laughs, but the author, Jerry Alagwoso, is using it to send a strong message to parents and wards to raise children that will make society a better place. What's with the right of? I mean, Tony wants to marry. Well, Tony wants to marry is for real, but um, only for the lucky girl. And you might just be that lucky girl. I want to be the lucky girl. Hmm, she wants to be the lucky girl. Uh, 
um, it's an awesome experience. Always have been working with the director Agoze Ogu, and um, also good to have the playwrights on set as well, or in the auditorium watching the um, production. Well, we love the reception. The audience gave it um, an awesome one. This just showed that us, the audience were actually listening to every single message being passed across. This play was a total success. I had fun. It was it was funny. It was insightful to the cast. They did. They just delivered their lines. They interpreted their roles so well. I'm looking forward to coming to other plays by this director. The play, which is set in contemporary times and laced with a sizable cast, was performed at the Export House Theatre Abuja and directed by Agozie Ugu. There's more to enjoy, but that will be when Art House returns next time. On the next edition of Art House. Three artists display their recent body of works at the Affinity Art Gallery in Lagos. Then, in another part of the nation's commercial city, Bumi Augusto takes the audience outside, which is the title of her recent exhibition. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. It's a pleasure spending time with you as always. And let's do it again next week. But you always remember that you can find me on any of our social media platforms where the conversation continues. And you can also view this and other episodes of the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.